Hello again, this is Paul Abrahams from Learn Jazz Piano Online and this is episode 6 of Easy Steps to Learn Jazz Piano. In this episode we're going to look at the three extensions. These three extensions are 9, 11 and 13. If you take a major scale, let's take for instance the scale of C, the 9 is the D, the 11 is the F, and the 13 is the A. You can also look at this as 2, 4 and 6 of either the major scale or the Mixolydian mode. And I realise that the 2, although it's the same note as the 9, has a different function. And in the same way, the 4 has a different function to the 11 and the 6 has a different function to the 13. What I want is that you should hear the sounds of these three extensions, whether they are 9 or 2, 11 or 4, 13 or 6. We're going to use the scale of F. It doesn't matter if it's F major or F mixolydian. There's the E flat to make it into the mixolydian. And the three extensions that we're looking for are number two, four and six of this scale. And an octave up from the two is a nine. An octave up from the four is 11 and an octave up from the 6 is a 13. And we're going to start with an F major 7th. Here's the shell, the 1 and the 7. Right hand 3, 5, and here this G is the 9. So we could call that F major 7 with a 9. We could turn this into F dominant 7th. And that still works with this 9. We could turn it into F minor 7th. And that 9 is still working. So there we have the first extension, the 9. We could also look at this from the point of view of the 2. So here's a voicing 1, 7, 3, 5 of an F major 7. And here's this same G but I'm going to place it there. So I don't mind if you think of this as a two or a nine. The whole point is that you recognize this sound, this G sound. Let's turn this into an F dominant seventh. One, seven, two if you like, three, five, or F minor seventh. So there are a few examples of how to use the nine, the first of the three extensions, and you can also sometimes think of it as two. I'll now play a short phrase, staying in the key of F. My first chord is F, F6 or F major seven. My second chord is D seventh, dominant seventh. And the nine, of this chord is the G, the 9 of the D7 is the E. And I'll try to incorporate these two 9 extensions, one for each chord. 2, 3, 4. So what we have here this G is the 9 of the F major 7. And here is my D7, and the 9 is the E. We're now moving on to the second extension, number 11, which is also the 4. So once again, to remind you, one, two, three, four of the scale of F is the B flat. 
and you can think of this B flat as four and an octave above this B flat it's the same note but the B flat now is the second extension the 11 a great way to appreciate what I call sweet notes is to listen to how the great songwriters use these notes particularly on strong beats of the bar and I want you to listen now just to the first few bars of Victor Young's Stella by Starlight where he uses the four on two occasions. So the first time, the left hand is playing the E minor 7 flat 5, and this A is 4. Now here, here's a C minor chord, and again the top note is the 4, the F. I just want to show you an interesting way of layering two triads, one on top of each other, and the result will be the four at the top. Here's an E minor chord, and if you come down two semitones here and play a D major chord, we now have one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. And as I say, 11 can be thought of as the 4. This would also work if the chord was E minor 7 flat 5. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. We've now reached the third extension, the 13, and that's an octave above the 6. And in the following examples, I'm going to use the scale of C. And in this case, as you know, if you count up to six, there's the six, which is the A, an octave up from there, same A, and that's the 13. And here are a few examples of some voicings. Here's the first one. This is a C major 7, 1, 7, 9, I'm putting the 9 here, 3, always have a 3 in the chord, and the 13 is at the top. Now I could easily turn this into a C 7th, a dominant 7th, just by bringing in this B down, a semitone. So it's the same numbering, one, seven, nine. This is the three, this is the 13. And we could turn this into a minor chord. Take the three, put it down a half step. And there we have a chord of C minor seventh with its nine and its six. Here's a second example. This chord, C major 7, the 1, 7. Here's my 3. Here's the A. You can think of it as a 6 or a 13. And this time I've got the 9 at the top. Once again, just by bringing this B down a half step, it's a dominant 7th. By bringing in this E down a half step, it's a C minor chord, but we still have... A, the 13, and the 9. One more. This chord, I've got a 1 and a 5 at the bottom of the chord. Here's my 3, that's always got to be there. Here's the 13. I've put the 7 up here, and the 9's at the top. We could create a C dominant 7th. 1, 7, 3, 13, there's that 7, and there's the 9. 
turn the whole thing into a C minor by bringing this down. One chord I'd like you to be familiar with is this 3, 6, 9 chord. So if I put a C at the bottom of that, you've got intervals of a perfect fourth, or you could use this with your left hand. As I was saying earlier, a great way of hearing these sweet notes is to listen to some of the songs by the great songwriters. Listen, for instance, to the opening two bars of Moonlight in Vermont. The chord is an E-flat, and the tune is hitting this C for the first note, which is the 6. this F minor 7th, that G is the 9. You can see now how these three extensions, the 9, the 11 and the 13, can enrich your chords and your solos. They become particularly important over the dominant 7th chord because the three extensions can be turned into the altered notes or the alterations. From the 9, you can get the flat 9 and sharp 9. From 11, you get the sharp 11. And from the 13, you get the flat 13. These are the four alterations that I've briefly talked about in a previous episode. If you want to subscribe to my full course, please go to www.learnjazzpianoonline.com Hope to see you there.